plate cutting process. The steel plates are cut into strips according to the required dimensions. This process involves precise cutting techniques to achieve the desired strip sizes. Built up beam fit up process. The strips are then assembled to form built up beams. The fit up process involves carefully aligning and positioning the strips to ensure proper geometry and dimensions of the beams. Dimensional and geometry check. Before proceeding to welding, a dimensional and geometry check is performed on the built-up beams. This inspection ensures that the beams meet the required specifications and tolerances. Semi-automatic welding saw method. The built-up beams undergo semi-automatic welding using the saw method. This welding technique ensures efficient and precise joining of the steel components. Beam straightening. After welding, the beams may undergo a straightening process to correct any deviations or distortions that may have occurred during the welding process. This step ensures the structural integrity of the beams. Circular saw beam cutting. If necessary, the beams may undergo further cutting using a circular saw. This process helps achieve the desired lengths or shapes of the beams. Beam CNC drilling. The beams are drilled with precision using a CNC drilling machine. This step involves creating holes in the beams according to the design requirements, allowing for the attachment of various components. Plate cutting for stiffener. Additional steel plates are cut to size to serve as stiffeners. These stiffeners provide added strength and support to the bridge structure. Stiffener welding, GMAW method. The stiffeners are welded to the beams using the gas metal arc welding, GMAW method. This welding technique ensures a strong and reliable connection between the stiffeners and the beams. Stud bolt welding. Stud bolts are welded to the beams at specific locations to facilitate the attachment of other components or structures during the bridge assembly. Welding final visual check. After welding processes are completed, a final visual inspection is conducted to check for any welding defects, such as cracks, porosity, or improper fusion. This step ensures the quality and integrity of the welds. Final dimension check and green tagging. A final dimensional check is performed to ensure that the fabricated components meet the required specifications. Gusset plates drilling with CNC drilling machine. Gusset plates, which are used to connect various structural elements, undergo drilling using a CNC drilling machine. Splice plate punching with CNC punching machine. If splice plates are required, they are punched with precision using a CNC punching machine. This step involves creating holes or slots in the plates to facilitate their attachment to the bridge structure. Hard stamping. This involves marking specific identification numbers or symbols directly onto the steel using a specialized stamping tool. Pipe cutting. If the bridge design includes pipes or tubes, they undergo cutting to the required lengths and angles. CSD bending. Certain components, such as CSDs, cross-sectional dividers, may require bending to achieve the desired shape and configuration. CSD bending is carried out using specialized bending equipment to ensure accurate dimensions and angles. Green tagging ready for delivery to galvanizing. Trail assembly of double track railway bridges. Before final delivery and installation, 
a trail assembly of the double-track railway bridges may be conducted. This involves temporarily connecting the fabricated components together to ensure proper fit and alignment. The trail assembly allows for any necessary adjustments or modifications to be made before the bridge is transported to its final location. Steel girder bridges are widely recognized as the simplest and most commonly used type of bridge for short to medium span crossings. They offer numerous advantages, making them a popular choice in bridge construction projects. One of the key benefits of steel girder bridges is their structural simplicity, which contributes to their efficiency and cost effectiveness. The primary structural elements of a steel girder bridge are the horizontal beams, known as girders, which support the deck or roadway. These girders are typically made of steel, a material that offers exceptional strength to weight ratio and durability. The use of steel in girder bridges makes them environmentally friendly since steel is highly recyclable and reduces the demand for new materials. Another advantage of steel girder bridges is their relatively lighter weight compared to other bridge types, such as concrete or timber. The lighter weight facilitates easier transportation and faster erection during the construction process. It also reduces the load on the bridge's substructure and foundations, resulting in potential cost savings. Steel girder bridges are known for their rapid construction process. Due to the prefabrication nature of steel girders, they can be manufactured off-site and transported to the construction site for assembly. This approach allows for simultaneous work at multiple locations, enabling faster project completion. The efficiency of the erection process reduces disruption to traffic flow and minimizes construction-related inconveniences to the surrounding area. Moreover, steel girder bridges provide flexibility in design and adaptability to varying site conditions. The modular nature of steel girders allows for easy customization to fit specific bridge requirements, such as different spans, widths, and load capacities. This versatility makes steel girder bridges suitable for a wide range of applications, from highway and railway bridges to pedestrian and cycleway crossings. In terms of maintenance, steel girder bridges are known for their durability and longevity. The corrosion-resistant properties of steel, combined with modern protective coatings and maintenance practices, help extend the service life of steel girder bridges. Additionally, steel structures offer the advantage of easy inspection and accessibility for maintenance and repairs. The importance of crawler crane in steel girder erection. Kurosaki Maki Ramp Overpass Construction is a significant infrastructure project in Japan. This project aims to connect the Kurosaki Bypass with the National Route 3, enhancing transportation access and safety in the region. The construction involves the erection of a bridge, known as a overpass, which spans over the Junior Kagoshima Mainline Railway tracks. In this construction project, the use of a crawler crane plays a vital role in the efficient and safe installation of steel girders. The construction company Kyutetsu was awarded the contract for the upper structure erection works for the Kurosaki Maki Ramp project. As part of this endeavor, the construction of the overpass is necessary to connect the bypass with the National Route 3. The project required innovative techniques to ensure minimal disruption to the Junior Kagoshima Mainline Railway and other transportation networks. The role of the crawler crane. 
To accomplish the bridge erection efficiently and safely, a crawler crane with a lifting capacity of up to 3,000 tons was utilized. The crawler crane is a mobile crane that is equipped with caterpillar tracks, enabling it to traverse various terrains. It offers several crucial advantages in the steel girder erection process. Handling heavy loads. The ability of a crawler crane to lift and move extremely heavy loads is paramount in steel girder erection. The 3,000 ton lifting capacity of the crawler crane ensures that the steel girders, which can weigh several tons, can be lifted and maneuvered with ease. Accessibility and mobility. Crawler cranes are highly mobile and can navigate challenging terrain. This feature is particularly essential in the Kurosaki Bypass project, where the crane needs to access the construction site and move across uneven ground. The crawler tracks provide stability, allowing the crane to operate on soft or rough surfaces, ensuring safe and efficient transportation and positioning of the steel girders. Precise positioning. Steel girder erection requires precise positioning to ensure the integrity and stability of the bridge structure. The crawler crane's hydraulic system enables smooth and accurate movement, allowing the crane operator to position the steel girders with precision. This ensures that the girders are aligned correctly and securely connected, contributing to the overall strength and safety of the bridge. Versatility. Crawler cranes offer versatility in various aspects of the construction process. They can be equipped with different types of attachments, such as lifting beams and spreader bars, to accommodate different load configurations. Additionally, the crane's boom length can be adjusted to suit the specific requirements of the project, allowing for flexibility in reaching different heights and spans. Efficient assembly and disassembly. The crawler crane's mobility and versatility facilitate the efficient assembly and disassembly of the crane itself. The crane components can be transported to the construction site, and the crane can be quickly assembled to begin operations. This flexibility allows for smoother project timelines and reduces downtime during the construction process. Safety considerations. The safety of both workers and the surrounding infrastructure is of utmost importance in any construction project. Crawler cranes are designed with safety features to minimize the risk of accidents and ensure a safe working environment. Stability. The wide base and crawler tracks provide stability to the crane, preventing tipping or instability during lifting operations. This stability is crucial when handling heavy loads and operating on uneven or challenging terrains.
Load Monitoring Systems Modern crawler cranes are equipped with load monitoring systems that provide real-time data on the load being lifted. This ensures that the crane operator can maintain safe lifting practices and avoid exceeding the crane's lifting capacity. Advanced Control Systems Crawler cranes feature advanced control systems that enhance operator control and precision. These systems allow for smooth and controlled movements, minimizing the risk of sudden jolts or jerks during lifting operations. Safety Training and Certification Crawler crane operators undergo specialized training and certification to ensure their competence in operating the equipment safely. This training covers various aspects, including load calculations, safe lifting procedures, and the recognition and avoidance of potential hazards.